Hi guys, and welcome to part two of my video series devoted to load order. Now in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can fix your load order, how to make it work for you. And we're going to be doing that primarily through the use of a tool called Loot. In this video, I am going to be assuming you understand what a load order is and why it is important. If you don't, you really should watch part one of this series, which covered all of those uh, issues. It is really important that you understand what you are doing. It is not enough to simply use a tool and hope for the best. The Loot tool is very powerful and will help you a lot and it helps both beginners and veterans, but it is not a replacement for knowing what you are doing. Anyway, having said that, let us continue and talk about loot. So what is loot? Well, loot actually stands for Load Order Optimization Tool, and it is the spiritual successor of another tool we used to use, or well, many of us still use, and that tool was called Boss. And like Boss, Loot essentially automates the process of sorting your load order. It helps you get at least a close approximation of what your load order should be. Okay, so first step, let's install the Loot program. And of course, we're going to need to download it. I'll put the link down below to the web page for it. And right on the front page, there is a great big button download loot. Obviously, just click that and download. Now, I would download the installer if I were you. That is what I'm going to do. And once it has downloaded, simply double click and follow the instructions on installation. I'm going to install mine in English. I'm actually going to point, uh, place my loot game in the same drive as my games where I actually have the boss tool as well, but you can place it anywhere you like and install. Now this program requires the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and it actually comes with the installer. So if you haven't got that installed, it will try to install it from here. I've already got it installed, so it doesn't come for me. However, it will do a pop-up if you need it Accept it, you are going to need that. And once it's finished installing, you can either run loot immediately or, in fact, view the readme. I would always recommend viewing the readme. Once you run the program, you're going to be presented with this very, very simple little interface. Uh, before we press anything, we're gonna quickly look at the game menu. As you can see here, it has detected that I have Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas installed, and it should do the same for you. Um, if there's a game missing, you can go along to Edit, Settings, and it will list the games you've got. You can add them um, and edit, for example, where the install path is, that type of thing. In general, this should automatically work for you, and you shouldn't need to change this. Okay, so let's just do what this tool was built for. Let's sort the plugins. First of all, I'm just gonna make sure it's selected Skyrim, it has, and then I'm gonna hit the sort plugins button. Great big thing right in the middle. It will start to work and then a pop-up window will appear. Now I'm just going to select something here because then you get other information and I'm going to make this a little larger. And what it has done, right now is it has calculated the load order that it thinks I should have. It has not applied it yet. If I, if I cancel this, warning, the load order displayed in the details tab was not applied, sorting was canceled. Yeah, and it doesn't matter even if you don't uh, maximize the window. From here, if I cancel, it has not, this, this here, cancel. There you go. So if you don't like the load order, you think there's something wrong with it, you can abort. So I'm going to reopen it and have a look. Okay, so here is the load order that it has suggested for me. And one of the first things you will notice if you are someone who has used Boss in the past is the load order that Loot gives you is probably 
quite different to the one that Boss has given you. Do not worry, do not panic. A lot of people have seen this difference and thought, oh, oh, that's it, it's going to break my game. I can tell you now, load orders are a lot more malleable than people believe. Some files must go below other files, but in general, the absolute load order, the absolute order all of the ESPs comes in can be changed quite a lot. In fact, you could have two load orders that look very different and yet produce identical results. They will work the same way, they will be fine. So do not panic about that. And in fact, the load order suggested by loot is more likely to be accurate, partly because BOSS relies on uh, master lists that are probably a little out of date now, but also because loot doesn't just rely on master lists, it can actually figure out your load order just by looking at the plugins you've got. It's a lot smarter of a tool. And in fact, already I can see it is better than my BOSS suggested load order. Here we go with all the reprocker files at the bottom, Warburgs, which is a problem file for me, always has to be close to the bottom. I always place it above the reprocker file. So in general, at a, at a quick glance, this is looking very good. So I'm going to apply. There you go. I get my little message. And if I now open the mod manager and have a look at my load order, it will have changed and will be what this has set. There you go. So my initial load order has been calculated and applied. And for many of you, that may actually be it. In my case, I actually think it's pretty close. I'm going to check it again, but that may be all I have to do. Uh, some of you, though, may need to tweak the load order a little bit. Perhaps you've read something on a website somewhere, or you've had some advice that it's actually best to move one of the plugins below another, and you want to do that. So for example, let's just say somebody has told me that it's better to have Sky Recombat below Dovahkiin Relax. Um, I can, of course, manually move that down to below Dovahkiin Relax and see what happens. Of course, I'm not saying I should do that in this particular case. That's not probably a good idea. However, you can. You can manipulate your load order this way. It is now changed. However, if that's something you think you want to keep, if that load order is the correct one for you, there is a way that you can get loot to remember that so that next time you run loot, it does it for you. So I have run loot once more, and once again, it has placed Skyrim Combat above Dovahkiin Relax and I want to change them over. So I'm going to select Skyri Combat, and I'm going to show only conflicting plugins. This will reduce this list to plugins I can use um, to load after, so to speak. So what I'm going to do now is, this is again, SkyriCombat.esp is still the one selected up here. I'm going to left-click on Dovahkiin Relax .esp and hold it, so I'm not going to release, and I'm going to drag it to here. And this tells it, from now on, SkyRecombat.esp will load after Dovahkiin Relax. I click Apply, and this time, instead of it applying the load order as it did last time, it recalculates the new load order. Oh, I have to... There you go, SkyRecombat.esp has now been placed below Dovahkiin Relax, and it will do so every time I run loot for the near future. Now, you may want to remove that. You may decide you have made a mistake and you want to remove it. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, the remove plugin option does not seem to, to work, but theoretically, what's, what is supposed to happen is you click on the SkyRecombat.esp, the one you added the new rule to, you click this and then you click remove plugin and it will remove the plugin from the list and recalculate. Um, however, there is another way to do it. This may work by the time you are watching this video, this may work. If that is working, that is probably the easiest way to do it. However, there is an alternative. You can edit metadata. If you edit the metadata, I'm going to 
make this larger and go along to Skyrim Combat. You see there's some small issues with it resizing, but not a big deal. Skyrim Combat selected and go to Load After. You will see this file name has been added to my list of rules on the Load After and I can either edit the plugin or I can remove the plugin. And remember to save changes. So I've now removed that. If I now sort my plugins once more, SkyRecombat.esp will be above Doverkeen Relaxes. There you go. You can also add plugin rules via the Edit Medit Data window. Uh, so, for example, I could go along again to Skyre, Skyre Combat Load After, and I can add a plugin, but I have to type the name in manually at the moment. So I actually find the other way a little easier to do. But of course, you could do multiple options here very, very quickly. As you probably saw when I went to the Edit Metadata section, there are actually a lot more options. There are a lot of ways you can customize this, but they're pretty advanced stuff. If you need to know about those, I would suggest you read the documentation. I think for 99.9% .9 of you, you probably do not need more than I've already shown you. One other feature I will briefly mention is under File and it's Redate Plugins. Um, most of you will never need to use that. In fact, it's something I will not be using. But what that does is it redates all of the Skyrim plugins. It is completely and utterly a Skyrim specific feature, but it redates those plugins so that when you open up the creation kit and you load data, this list of plugins appears in your, uh, the same as your load order. You can see mine does not at the moment. I've got realistic water at the bottom. And the reason it is at the bottom is it is actually the last um, mod I installed. I've been playing around with my mods and that happened to be the last one I updated. And there you can see it is last. Um, if you don't like that, you can use this Redate plugins and it will reorder that. Be warned, if you do that and you use any mods from the Steam Workshop, next time you boot up your game through the launcher, it will update those mods. It will think something has changed and it will update them and it will then spoil your, your nice load order in the creation kit. But again, this is only for people who care about the load order of those plugins in the creation kit. The rest of you can ignore that. Okay, guys, that is about it for the video. I hope it has explained loot well enough that you can use this to, you know, get your basic load order. I do appreciate I've left out a lot of the details, a lot of the advanced stuff, but I think that is probably better left for a more advanced video or perhaps for people who just want to read the documentation. It's actually reasonably self-explanatory and the documentation will help you get the rest. If you really are a power user, you probably don't need my help for that. For the rest of you, if you are not a power user, probably you're not going to need it. Uh, I, I again think that the basic functionality will cover 99.9% .9 of people's needs. So I hope this video and the previous video describing what load order is have been useful to you and I hope they gave you enough information to keep your load order working for you.